Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. discuss multi-way ANOVA. I hope that you have understood one-way ANOVA, two-way ANOVA, so <coughs> now we will be discussing multi-way, multi-way mean three or greater than equal to three factors. each with greater than equal to two levels. For example, suppose uh, you consider three factors A, B and C, A with A number of levels, B with B number of levels, C with C number of levels. Then this is three factor model and you it, it may be something like our in our uh, radar scope example, this one is our ground clutter, A is ground clutter, B is type of filter, C can be any uh, anything uh, some other factor. For example, if, if you have skill operator plenty in number, so you can also control the operator. So, that means the operators can be controllable at that in that case. So, then the three different level at uh, three different factors each with different levels. Ground clutter three levels, this is two level, this may be suppose you have ten different factors uh, operators who can be uh, considered, you have available this. So, this is three level. Now, what happened you may find that there are more number of factors D, F, D, E many more. So, then D will be 1, 2 at each with D levels, E will be 1, 2 each with E levels. Similarly, you can go up to K number of factors, K number of factors, K can be any value. If K equal to 1, this is one factor C experiment, K equal to 2, two factor experiment k equal to 3, 3 factors experiment, k equal to 4, 4 factor, k equal to k factor experiment. Now, when we are talking about multi-way ANOVA, you please understand that we are basically considering a, an experiment with multiple factors which means 3 or more number of factors. Okay. So, there is a <coughs> there is a complete randomized design C R D let let C R D with three factors. Hmm. So, so what will be your data set? I mean how how you will I mean what will be your experimental settings? So, A, B, C. Now A level 1, B level 1, C can be level 1, 2 like C levels, A level 1, B level 2, C can be 1, 2 C levels. Similarly, what happened again A dot 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 A, A level 1 and then B level B, C will be 1, 2 C. In this manner A, A level then finally, B, B level and C will be 1 to C levels. So, how many experimental settings will be there? A, B, C. If A equal to 3, 
b equal to 2 c equal to 10 then you have 10 into 20 60 treatment levels treatment combinations not level yeah. treatment combinations now you have done 60 treatment uh, experiment with 60 treatment combination and again each level each and each combination you have one two like n number of observations. So, essentially then you have i in i th index for factor a, j th index for factor b, k th index for factor c and l th in l th index for number of replication. So, essentially your number of a general observations will be represented like y i j k l this is i for factor a j for factor b k for factor c l for replications so this is the general observation so when you conduct experiment complete randomized experiment you will be getting random response values y i j k l where i varies from 1 to a j varies from 1 to b i varies from 1 to a j varies from 1 to b k varies from 1 to c l varies from 1 to n ok so <coughs> if there is a one more factor d then what will happen your general observation y i j k l m so, I for A, B for J for B, K for C, L for D and M for replications. Okay. So, <coughs> fine when you increase the number of factors, so what is what is happening? Your sources of variation is increasing, source or sources of variation. So, it is analysis of variance and a source of variance variation are very very important. So, what will be for three factor case what will be the sources A, B then their interaction then C interaction A C, B C another interaction plus zero. What is happening then you are having A factor which is known as mean effect. B interaction is another main effect, main effect M E. A B is interaction effect I E. C is again another another main effect. A B A C these are all and A B C these are all interaction effect. And this is the random effect. Error. So, depending on the number of factors k, depending on the k, you will be having different kind of effects. So, if you experiment with k factors, then your main effect will be k numbers, interaction effect will be of different kind, first is 2 interaction, 2 way interaction. So, this will be k c 2 numbers, 3 way interaction this will be k c 3 number like this k way interaction that will be k c k means 1. So, <coughs> if I consider k equal to 3 in that case main interaction is a b c that is 3 numbers 2 way interaction is a b a c b c again 3 numbers and 3 way or k interaction is a b c that is 1 number c 3 3 is 1. So, how many sources you are getting 3 main effect source 3 inter 2 way interaction source another one is um, that a b c that 3 way interactions. ok. So, ultimately 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 another one is error is there ok. So, essentially by sources of variation in we are talking about the enter the source 
the variation of that that you will observe in case of three factor experiment y i j k l data if you see that there is a total variation in the data some data but data will vary value will vary and there will be variation and as a result this total variation can be decomposed into so many variation level so many parts for a for b for c for a b a c b c a b c and error now if you go for four then what will happen your interaction effect will be 4 c 2 means 4 into 3 by 2 that will be 6 that is 2 way interaction will be 6 3 way interaction will be 4 c 3 4 by uh, what will be the 4 c 3 means 4 then 4 c 4 means 1. So, in that way you have to find out the interaction accordingly you you feel find out the sources. You may argue that okay, there are two factors, so three factors or three source and one random source fine, but in a multi way analysis of variance or even in analysis of variance case that a main effect are the source, but their interaction you can also consider uh, that the source because if there is no interaction if you can the, the change will be there. So, accordingly we will partition the things. So, a general observation y i j k l this will be partitioned into into what it will be there will be grand mean or grand average there will be a effect there will be b effect there will be a b effect there will be c effect a c effect b c effect a b c effect and error will be there that is what we will do and so accordingly can what you will write y i j k l this general observation you can write this equal to mu plus tau y mu y is grand mean this is the overall population model. So, grand, uh, grand mean tau y for factor a beta j for factor b plus gamma k for factor c plus tau beta i j plus tau gamma i k plus beta gamma j k plus tau beta gamma i j k plus epsilon i j k l. This is your three factor ANOVA model. 3 factor ANOVA model. So, i from 1 to a, j varies from 1 to b, k varies from 1 to c, l varies from 1 to n. So, we are considering balance ANOVA because sample size equal and it is better to consider balance and this is your error term. Now, if you want the estimate thing, so what will happen? What are the estimate value? Mu estimate will be where is this? So, this will will go for y dot dot 4 that bar, this one will be y i dot 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 bar minus this. Similarly, for this that mean what will happen i dot j dot dot bar minus y dot 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 this k will come and ultimately interaction effects you have to find out. So, that that is similar manner the way we have done for two factor uh, two factor ANOVA or two way ANOVA case. Now, let us see the see the calculation part. So, you see SS you what you want you want to compute SST. I am not going into the further partitioning effect because all that the concept remains same you know all those things. So, let us see that what is SST that means you are talking about squaring each of the observations and then taking some and you are subtracting the subtraction factor this is nothing but again the total square grand total square by the number of observations. Then you find out SSA, SSB, SSC, 
then you find out S S A B, S S A C, S S B C. When you are finding out S S A B, you require S S subtotal for A B. When you find out S S A C, you require S S subtotal for A C. And for similarly for B C, S S subtotal for B C, and this is the formula. And once you have all those things, as well as your S S A B C, then S S A B C subtotal and this. Then you can find out, find out S S C that S S T minus S S S S subtotal A B C. Okay. So this this is this is just a uh, the equations are not tough. It is just it looks a big equation, but concept remains same like in two factor n over case or two a n over case. Only you please be careful. About the about the um, formula on what is to be divided. For example, when you calculate S S A, then B C N will be divided from the uh, sum of the individual squares. When for B A C N will be divided. Similarly, when you calculate uh, interaction, the subtotal is very important. Okay, that subtotal, which subtotal is relevant for which kind of interaction that you have required to be uh, required to be understood, and through practice it is possible. Okay. So then you will definitely prepare this kind of n over table, and again you see that all a b c a b a c b c a b c error and total. I have discussed these sorts of variations. Then you find out sum square S S A S S B S S C S S A B S S A C S S B C S S A B C like this. Then degree of freedom a minus one b minus one c minus one a minus one into b minus one a minus one into c minus one b minus c minus one like this a minus one then a b c into n minus one and a b c n minus one. Divide S S by their respective uh, degree of freedom you get mean square. And here we are introducing one more concept called expected mean squares. From theory, you know that uh, it will be like this. And although I say you know, but you uh, we have never discussed this. Please keep in mind that uh, it is expected that the um, the so every source of variation has some effect. In that case, uh, this is the quantity B C N. Tau i square by a minus one or a c n beta j square by this is the quantity which is added to sigma square because sigma square is the quantity which is the random variation and which is related to primarily related to error. You see that S S E and M S E calculate and then the expected mean square that mean expected value of M E M S E will be sigma square. So this is interesting thing that also in the earlier cases we 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 can introduce the same thing. But here the interesting thing is that when you are calculating F zero, you are basically comparing M S A with M S E. Now that means the expected value of M S E is sigma square. If there is no significant difference uh, of the different treatment levels for suppose for factor A or B or C. Then this will coincide or will be almost equal to M S E. That means this quantity B C N, uh, sig tau i square by a minus n or A C N. This added quantity this will become zero. So that means it the variability is all equal to sigma square, which is equal to M S E. If there is difference in uh, that expected mean square, then the uh, this each of the sources are contributing towards the Uh, difference that is what is mm, interesting to you. Anyhow, suppose you have only two factor case A B and an A B and error in that that time only this B C and A that uh, terminologies suppose B C and A uh, here B C is coming because it is a three factor case so B C B N will be there C will not be there but in the same manner this can be computed. Now there will be tabulated value for f for a. Tabulated value will be f 
what will be the tabulated value for a a f alpha a minus 1 and in this case the what is the error degrees of freedom a b c into n minus 1 uh, usually alpha equal to 0 0.05 now if your computed value for a for a this is greater than this tabulated value a minus 1 a b c into n minus 1 alpha then this has a has effect similarly b similarly c similarly like this ok so see one example uh, the process engineer can control three variables during filling process the percent carbonation which is denoted by a the operating pressure in the filler denoted by e b and the bottle produced per minute or the line fee speed denoted by c actually this is basically that coke uh, making uh, coke in the coca cola or something like this the filling the bottle now the engineer can control carbonation at three levels 10 12 and 14 percent she chooses two levels for pressure the 25 and 30 psi and two levels for line speed 200 and 250 bpm <coughs> bottles per minute she decides to run two replicates of a factorial design in these three factors with all 24 runs to be taken in random order the response variable is the average deviation from the target fill height observed in a production run of bottles at each set of conditions. The data that resulted from this experiment are shown in the next slide. Positive deviations are fill heights above the target, whereas negative deviations are fill heights below the target. What is happening here? The situation is like this. Suppose you have a Coke bottle. So, you want to fill with coke, there are <coughs> one is factor A that is carbonation, it is having three levels 10, 12 and 14 percent, there is factor B which is basically pressure at which the bottle will be uh, that coke will be filled that is two levels 25 and 30 and another one is that what speed you are basically filling the bottle that is C is two, 200 bottle per minute and 250 uh, bottle per minute. So, this is the feed ratio that is line speed. Okay. Now, so that means what happened your, your A 1, 2, 3 levels, B 1, 2 levels and C 1, 2 levels. In total, how many independent uh, treatment combinations are there 3 into 2 into 2 12 which is a b c but the the engineer decided to conduct two number of replications so in each setting there will be two replications so k equal to i j k l l equal to 2 so so that means your total number of runs will be 12 into 2 equal to 24. What I mean to say y i j k l this value the total value will be how many such observation you will get you will get 24 such experimental data. Okay. Now, see this here you see that this one this completely so this is the tabular representation please remember again I repeat we have taken from Montgomery book percent carbonation 10 12 14 your operating pressure 25 30 and then line speed 200 and 250. So, how many observations are there 3 into 2 6 observations one and again replication 2 each cases. So, 12 observations here 12 observations here 24 observations you see see the right hand side SST calculation that means you find out the square of each of the 24 y values y i j k l square. 
So, this value wants you and then you are subtracting by the grand total value which is when I summing up all those things this is 75. You may be, uh, may be thinking that what is this minus and plus basically this is nothing but suppose you want to fill up to this level or up to this level let it be. So, this is suppose this is the h height this to be filled. Now, in bo bottle 1 you measure and you find out that this is the gap. Bottle 2 you measure may be this is the gap. Suppose this if this is the target let it be this is the target which is h then this is positive more than target this is negative less than target it is there. So, in that manner 24 experiments are done and in an e each setting two bottles where two experiments are uh, two replications are there like in the first case is minus 3 minus 1 second case may be 0 1 like this is the fill to the target. So, response variable y this is basically deviation from target from target filling target is h this much will be bottle will be filled and if it is less that or more then that will be represented by y. So, this formula there is now S S carbonation means basically S S A this is the equation we have seen earlier and then what you are doing 1 by B C N y i is changing what is i here i is basically this this one first row this related to 10 12 14 and you see what you are writing here minus 4 square plus 20 square plus 59 square what is this? This is basically the row total. So, in the first row related to carbonation this is 10 here everywhere two replications are there and ultimately the total is minus 4. So, minus 4 square second total is 20 and like this and you divided by B C n B is 2 C is 2 and n is 2. So, 1 by 8 you are getting like this one. Similarly, find out S S pressor, S S speed and then S S A B which is basically the subtotal is this, this is the subtotal 1 by C n i j square and then i j this one this is the subtotal and these are the S S A S S B will be uh, subtracted. Now, subtotal y i j i stands for A for A i and for j it is basically for j is operating pressure for B then dot dot mean the total. So, that means 25 psi 10 uh, a 10 for how many observations are there. So, how many observations are there 1, 2, 3, 4 observations are there. So, what is the total of this observation here this total is minus 4 this total is minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 that is minus 5. So, in this manner you compute and get this one and similarly for uh, other other thing other other values also S S A C S S B C S S A B C and like this and finally uh, and S S sub uh, total A B C also you get it and then you <coughs> calculate S S E S S T minus S S sub total this is the sum and once you have all those S S values you create an over table degrees of freedom known to you mean square you can compute f 0 you can compute and p here we are given p value, but it is approach each it is because p value computation is tedious. So, what you do basically you choose alpha equal to 0 0.05 or some other value, but usually alpha is 0 0.05 and then find out f value for this alpha given degrees of freedom nu 1 and nu 2 and nu 1 will be uh, this if it is a 3 level. So, it will be a minus 1. So, that means 2 and nu 2 always for error degrees of freedom, error DOF. Here in this case, error DAF is 12, so it will be always 12. Now, if this value is less than the computed value, H0 is rejected, means there is factor A effect, similarly, factor B effect, factor C effect, like this. Okay. Now, see all three. Here, what have happened? All three, if you see this one, that first one, second one, third one they are basically significant because p value is much less than 0 0.05. So, this first three significant if you see the a b interaction 
a b interaction here the value is 0 0.0558 this just above 0 0.05. So, you may say this is not significant, but if you consider that this is 0 0.06 is almost 0 0.05, I mean you can consider also a b f a, but other probability values you see p values are very high. So, these are not significant. So, uh, all three summary all three factors significantly affect the field volume and there should exist uh, some interaction uh, between the factors. Okay. So, this is what is your three way uh, ANOVA. Okay. So, you can think of that uh, uh, there can be more than three. Okay. So, he, um, I hope you have understood also three way ANOVA and then calculation and if not please write in the forum and my uh, we will see we will see in the forum and our TAs will be seeing the forum and they will be they will be giving you the reply. But uh, up to this I want to tell you very one very important thing that means that first is selection of factors. And when you do experiment, you must know selection of factors, how many factors, here number of factors is very important, here number of label is also very import important. So, once this is done, you are in a position, you know that what is the, what is the, what will be the treatment combination, this will help you in finding out the treatment combination. Suppose, if I say three factors, then your treatment combination is A B C. Once you know the treatment combination, then you you want to you will select that what will be the replications, number of replications. So, replications is n, this will help you to in find out that what is the total number of experiment that you will conduct it. And then you just see that you cannot conduct the you cannot conduct this n number of experiment arbitrarily. There will be complete randomization design. Then what happen after that? Uh, uh, that design you have to do and then do conduct experiment. Once you conduct experiment, you get a data. You get data table. So, you will get y i j k l or if it is 3 factor, if it is 2 factor y i j k, if it is 1 factor y i j. So, 3 factor case, 2 factor case and this is 1 factor case. Once you uh, this is prerequisites for because these are the things you uh, that is what you have done actually and this data set is available. Now, you analyze the data set. If it is one factor, you go for one way ANOVA. If it is two factor, you go for two way ANOVA. If it is three factor, go for three way ANOVA. If it is four factor, four way ANOVA. And if it is five, uh, ten factor, ten way ANOVA. All these are known as multi way ANOVA. <coughs> okay. Another and everywhere because we are interested to know whether factor effects are there or not and interactions are there or not. Your hypothesis will be concerned with the factor effects, it will be main effects, hypothesis, all hypothesis related to this interaction effects. And E and this actually main effect and interaction all are compared with the error which is MSE. If the variability explained by the main effect is all equal, is similar to MSC, mean variability similar to MSC, then there is no effect. If if there is factor effect, it will be much more than the MSC. And then F test, com tabulated value, computed value, comparison, and you will find out which is which is. This is what is in nutshell ANOVA, and. This ANOVA model has similarity with regression also. 
So, we will discuss regression in subsequent classes, lectures. Uh, thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thanks.